This story is a Bible, and it comes from the heart. And it's not about me, I'm just trying to do my part. So gather your ears and listen, and I will tell you how it started. From the Big Bang to the Yin Yang and all our dear departed. It all began with a movement across 90 full degrees. A leap of faith through a wall of fire like you wouldn't believe. From seven O's and as the universe it came to be. And it seems like such a shame to me that there was no one round to see. Peace was not to last because as soon as they had passed, they still felt the effects of the primordial blast. From one they did split into two just as quick, face to face with the other like the snapping of a stick. As you can imagine, they immediately went to war and caused a great expansion of how they would explore. All across the universe they spread it very far, but in the midst of all they lost sight of who they are. Many attempts they made to bring all back into balance, but despite all of their power that proved to be quite a challenge. Together they hung the stars, placed them as clues upon a map, and set to work the gates they made to keep their powers capped. Then out of love the earth was made, and in the heavens wrapped. In secret great plans were laid, and all oh, the heavens clapped. Soon they made Adam, Lilith and Eve, and from the Garden of Eden, they were forced to leave. As all across the world, we moved across the land. Later came Noah, soon followed by Abraham. We all remember Moses and how he parted the Red Sea. But is anyone alive today remember why they took their leave? Then maybe there's a few of us who would really like to meet. The one who created us, maybe he lives on my street. Some 2,000 years ago, Jesus died for our sins. And a little while after, Muhammad's line begins. These religions are not different, in fact, they are but twins. Bright futures they did hope for, although they had their own spins. Across the years, many would study their great work and try to emulate the Creator's little quirks. But this was not their plan to create mindless worshippers. It's a symptom of ourselves to see only the God in others. Deep down inside, we know we are not just numbers, that we are the descendants of two star-crossed lovers. Yes, it pains me to see so many small gods suffer. When they each have their own power, they only need to rediscover. A hidden power just waiting to be recovered. Let me tell you, you are special in case you've ever wondered. This is one time, one cycle of one universe. One song on one planet, a place called Earth. From Mercury to Venus, the Moon and even Mars. From Jupiter, Saturn and all across the stars. They've looked after us forever, protecting from afar, nurturing and loving all that we are, until the time that we be ready to remember who we are, to remember our name, our name is Chris.